Alright, today we're just going to take a brief look at some of the features on the HTC Inspire 4G running Android 2.3.4 on Sense 3.0. Alright. This is your main lock screen. Um, you have the ability to unlock the phone to each to any one of these four applic applications here. So you can either unlock to the, directly to the phone, to your mail, to the camera, or to anything. Any of these these circles could be customized. So you can unlock to the phone. Right. You can also see this is the people section. Nice right. integration where yeah. Can initiate a chat directly from there. Mm -hmm. You can also view um, contacts, messages to and from the person, emails, stuff like that, pictures, call history. Yeah. Um, I just want to take a quick look at the browser, the browsing capabilities. Um, specifically, how the browser handles videos. I'm just gonna choose a random, random video here. This is Epic Rap Battles of History. Apparently there's a new one out. Of course, you have stuff like the standalone YouTube app, which looks just pretty much as you would expect. What's happening, y'all? Yeah. Now, I don't want to get your hopes up, but you should be pretty excited about this first video. It's got a fat chick rolling a convertible. Oh, wait, that's a cow, and he's yeah. rolling around in the trunk of a car. <laughs> Some various other applications that I wouldn't really go through all of them. This is a overclocking application. Right now, I just have a slight overclock on the CPU. Various profiles. Just to demonstrate the gaming capability for a sec. Okay. Just to show some of the settings available as well. You have phone information.
battery stats, pretty detailed battery statistics, see what's been using the battery, go directly to the settings from there, if you, will, if you like, yeah, you can also see a nice graph as to how your battery usage has been going over a period of time. storage, removable storage, internal storage yeah um, a couple other applications we have mumble you can use to connect to the mumble server Let's see if like, we can join some of our Battlefield playing friends here. Yes, I am back again. I am back again. What? Yeah. <laughs> That's very good, buddy. I'm going again. Because I can. Because I can. I'm coming. Yeah, yeah, come in. Let's go, Masak. Oops. That's what we get for a beta version. And then we will look at the home screen. From here, on the notification bar, you have the option to enable and or disable a lot of the different hardware features. You can go directly to your task manager, kill processes, stuff like that, monitor memory usage. Um, and there's also a shortcut to go to the entire, all the settings of the phone. So that's pretty convenient. Um, we have various home screens that you can transition to. I see there's a nice 3D effect when you transition. Um, there's also a little carousel feature. Let me see if I can get it in. Alright. See, that's the swipe through all of the home screens yeah there's also pinch to zoom also with some nice 3d effects so you can see our overview of all your home screens and well this here this is one of the widgets this is the mail widget as you can see very smooth scrolling um mail here we also have calendar same thing, French stream, which will consolidate Facebook, um, Twitter streams, a nice weather widget, which will take it to some pretty nice effects. Yeah. Also, you have a nice little music widget. Play music directly from there and continue using the phone like it as as normal. Let's return to the home screen. Um, have some other some more customizations here. Wallpapers, lock screens, stuff like that. So we'll go through all of that. And this is just a very brief video, which has now come to an end. Alright, thank you for watching.